Hello everyone and welcome back to Naval Action. We are uh, back in Lamona and ready to undertake another episode in our Through the Rank series. We are in the constitution that we captured the last episode of the series and um, we are about to head out and see if we can take on a third raid. Um, not a third rank but the ship in game simply called a third raid. Now, the third rank uh, is going to be somewhat of a different beast compared to the Constitution, but first let's go over the stats of this one. Um, we managed to capture it last time. It's an oak frame, oak planking, shabby build. So, n not too well. Um, I've bumped on navy planking uh, structure and Cartagena caulking refit. Simply to get my side armor thickness up, maybe being able to um, bounce a bit more uh, damage there. But you got it up to 111. Um, speed is decent, uh, a bit more side armor uh, hit points there. I do have three brook slots. Uh, uh, slots? <laughs> um, I'm locked on this boat. So, Gunner Encyclopedia, out of ship handling, and CFAX last lock is a definite go here. Uh, instead of going with the carronades, I went with the long guns. Uh, again, going to try a bit of a range. 42 pounders on this turn, and we managed to actually not get the 18 pounders in on the bow. Uh, do I have any? No, just going to use longs. Otherwise, we've probably gone for mediums there. Port bonus, we have a single one, but that is hull four uh, for a bit of an upgrade. That's good. A crew of 450, and uh, that's it. So, for you, those of you wondering, Norseman, that isn't the right color. You're right. I painted it, um, so it's not in its current color scheme. I put on the uh, cold blue color scheme. Perk-wise, we're back to what we usually do. Prepare, double shot, determined defender, emergency master, expert commander. Now, as I said, the third raid is going to be a different beast. First up, it's got 200 cr uh, more crew than us. We're at f uh, 450, it's at 650. We have to reduce uh, her crew uh, quite a lot before we are actually able to board her. Secondly, the damage output on her is significantly higher. We do um, calculate it around 2700 uh, damage, whereas the third rate on paper does 3900 damage um, per broadside. So, there's a, quite a significant uh, difference there. Hit point wise, we should be in the same ballpark, more or less. Um, so, we'll see once we get there. But let's leave the port and I'll bring you right back once I find a uh, solar third rate that we can uh, really engage. See you in a second. All right, welcome back. We are currently on the south side, uh, southwestern side of Puerto Rico, just outside uh, Guernica, or however that port's supposed to be pronounced. And I finally found me a solo third raid. So let's tack her up. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can... Behind her, actually. Up for a bit. Back button and running. Yeah, shot a bit, but we'll see. All right, pretty quick load time. Okay. Not too bad. All right, uh, two, two, one, four, two. Setting up for a s shot with the uh, doubles. Actually, no. Double up. I was going for chains, but we should outmaneuver him anyway. And he'll probably turn before I really get. Before he gets that much sail up, so we're probably better off just going straight for the uh, stern here. Alright. Focus in. Might even go 250. Smattering of shot, but. 
you know, turn his broadside here. damage if you come in behind him for another rake and hopefully a better one than the one we just did chain actually that's not low chains on this side anyway we should outperform him. Waterline shot. Barons. Count of turning, that's good. That was a good hammering. Well, he's going to come out. Turn, 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 turn. Ow. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't push that turn aggressively enough. Uh, either in behind him or past him. So, a quite a beating there. All right, let's come around. He's just finished firing, so. Allow us off to come around, hopefully get back in behind him. Wind is in our favour to do so. Even out. We are gonna actually pop our first repair just to keep on top of it. managed to take out 75 of his crew already that's pretty good um, we do need to reduce him considerably um, to make sure that we actually get a chance once it comes down to boarding Can we get that nothing much but it'll count in the end in he's turning step two are we out turning him pretty easily here we'll be caught in irons pretty soon so that's Good for us. Might have shot that somewhat prematurely. Or I did shoot that somewhat prematurely. Round. Give him the stern while we're at it. The hull damage, no crew damage. We'll wait for a bit, he's gonna turn, so he's gonna be bouncing most of it on our side. The intention, anyway. Now, we did remove a good chunk of his crews down in about 103, 104. Um, which is good, but we do need to reduce one side so we actually get into a boarding fight without actually just stone rigging him to death. We don't want to risk sinking him. We're going to turn in here.
plenty to ball am reload the opposite side as we come around firing level out don't want to get too many shots in on the stern here that's not too bad actually we could have him chase us here instead I'm gonna finish the reload on that side and start reloading this side the repairs are done Allow us have to depower and get the sails back. And looks like we're slightly under cruise. We're going to do the old one side of the time treatment. We'll line up. Ah, oh, he's going to chase at full speed now. Shot. Range is good. Angle's too high though. And this time we're going to go into autumn. Should do. It'll be turning soon. Give it a little more. Don't want to come too close to the wind either. You're not reloaded yet. Oh, there we go. Few knocks on the bow, but most of it missed. So we can come around the other way. Give it not the chains. Coming on flat. Give it a good broadside, reduce the sidearm, and then we can turn away from him, reload, turn back in. Coming in on the reload. I'm gonna keep turning here just to shoot him as we pass by. We're done. Done. Reload. Open up the angle. Come right around there. Should be good. That was a good time. Hitting our stern somewhat. Doesn't really matter. The rest are going to bounce. I took a bit of damage though. Come back in. Was well, reloaded. Hopefully get out to a good angle before he reloads. Be fine. He didn't fight our full broadside there, it didn't feel like. Yeah, we're still missing the lower deck. Here we go. Some of it is actually still penetrating, so we need to increase the angle a bit. Around. Up a bit. A wave came in and took on a couple of them. Let's close the range a bit.
Got another four minutes until we can repair, but we still in good shape. There's a few connections, but most of it is bouncing. Turn. Height. It's good. Incoming fire turn out. A bit quicker on the reload than I initially thought he would be, but it's only the top deck. Finish firing, allows us to turn in while he reloads. Down to 50% on his side armor, so that's pretty good already. True, we still got a 100 man advantage. Range up, range. Good. Incoming fire. top deck and even his top deck is doing damage to us so you need to be careful here got two minutes and 20 sorry if this get noisy just adjusting the mic come to the lower deck dodge those turn out He's pretty damaged on that side. I want to see if I can reduce him completely and then we'll start grouping. Which is also the reason why I'm closing the range here. Alright, he's done firing. We're almost done reloading. down to 20% we could start grabbing him now I do prefer to shoot away his side on completely that will buy me a bit of time to get another cycle of repairs in and then we can close in and start doing grape shot damage And again, 14 seconds and we'll start the repair. Alright, I did a turn. Technically intended, but I did it a bit too early so some of the broadside missed. Turn out. Got the repair. I'm keeping an eye on his central structure as well. Um, just because he is getting down to 50. I don't want to reduce him 
Too far. I don't want to risk sinking him. He's coming in at full sail, so he's going to try and close the range. Also means this angle is going to be high. To range. And the range, fine. Just the angle. You get a minute on the nose, maybe pick up with a bit of crew. Not much, but it did manage to damage his pump. And if we were just trying to sink the guy, uh, getting the pump out, it wouldn't be a bad idea. We're not. Right, let's close in. 1 3. Rip shot. Repairs are coming along. We are also slightly forcing him into the bay. We are the quickest ship, but we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to keep closing, repairing up um, until he fired another broadside because he's almost going to be reloaded now because we dallied a bit. So if I start turning now, I'll be flat on him once he's reloaded. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to keep the angle up, but still work my way outwards if I can. Almost point blank now. I have to turn there. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, and he is wearing off from the wind. We're gonna eat a heavy broadside here. Try and angle in as much as I can while keeping my speed up. I don't want to get close to this guy with reduced speed because he's still uh, at an accrued advantage and I'm not prepared for a boarding. On reload. E power here. Oh, reload, 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 reload. Before he does, reload before he does. And this is gonna hurt. Try and break the deadlock. Speed up. Don't want to risk him boarding me now if I'm pressing 9. Alright, we're good. We're good. That got dangerously close suddenly when he suddenly started to turn in on me and slow down. Could have gone really bad. If you managed to get a board in there, we would have been pretty screwed. Alright, fire from the rear. crew now. More or less even. Well prepared for boarding.
Gonna eat a bit of damage here. I'm gonna risk it. Thirty nine crew off. See if we can start pushing him around for a boarding. Hopefully he falls off a bit. Yeah, he does. No, the 30 something crew off. We should be pushing, we are pushing him around. We're trying to force our way into a boarding now. Pump just went down, we are taking heaps of damage right now. Thirty off, almost a hundred men. True advantage. Need to slow the bucket down. Almost there. Keeping my eye on my. Uh, Side armor and my uh, structure. I guess the pump doesn't matter yet. Let's get it up just in case. Beeping heavily reduced. Come on. A little bit more. We are below speed now, but he's not for somehow. don't have a choice here we're too badly damaged not to fall off actually he's coming in hard so just do this slow down and then come by Trying to get him to pass us on the front. That shooting might. Damn, Stan. I'm well, not Stan, but into my side armor. May even get a boarding in at this angle if he starts throwing down. At least we'll get him on the other side and pull away. Well, this is weird. But we're going to go for it. I'm pressing G all I can, but he must be gaining speed somehow.
Yeah, he's pushing us around. <laughs> this is absolutely weird. Uh, all right, load grape on the front. Two, three, load grape. All right, can't remember I've ever been deadlocked like this before. We're gonna get it. Oh, we are. All right. We're loading grape at an odd angle. Five and three. Reduce the sailing crew. Now he's gonna go. Grenades all deck guns first. We're gonna brace. Now it's grenades, and here comes deck guns. Might as well fire our grape shot so we can do anything. Look like we're really hitting. And I missed the attack on that one, so... The three is going to be grenades. Should have done in an attack there. I was paying attention. It came as grenades. Deck guns is every third, so I should be able to attack him this time. Yep. Next time it's going to be a brace because he's going to go defend. No, he's good deck guns. All right. Big deck guns. That's fire arrows. Managed to pluck up, pluck away six. Almost a two to one advantage. We come to grenades. Here comes in an attack from our house. I said it before, and I'll say it again. They did do changes to the boarding sequence and the AI boarding um, programming, but it's just changed the... Uh, basically, they changed the sequence of it, but that just means we have a new, new system to doing these boardings. There's not really much. There's so many ways to cheese around it without it being a proper challenge. Alright, grenade should be up now, then it should be deck guns, and then we go for another attack. Get the preparation back up anyway. And there goes the grenades, here comes the deck guns. Fire arrows, pick away a few crew. And now we're at a 2 to 1 advantage here on the, uh, on the crew side anyway. Actually, even. <laughs> Good attack in. Grenades are coming up, and he's going to defend. We're going to brace. Got a preparation back up. He's going to change to grenades. Yeah, he will be coming in with grenades. Here comes the deck guns. Our guns. No damage there. Deck guns. Let's see if we have it for a last second attack. I think we need 55 for that though. We're gonna wait one more cycle. He's gonna braze, and he should be going up with firepower for this round. 
One, two, three. Yeah, he should be going grenades for this one. There you went, the grenades. And now he should be down on a reload for the deck guns. So we'll do an attack now. Good attack. We're down. Five morale. His melee is still 20, so we don't want to hit him with this. Um, what we may want to do is just raise up and give him one more cycle. That was the deck guns. Here comes the grenades. That was the grenades. Embrace this round. We don't have enough to do that last second attack. But he is also still on reload on both grenades and deck guns. Deck guns is every fourth turn, grenades every third. There we go. Yay, we won it. So as you see with the uh with the changes they've done. The AI is a bit stronger in some areas, but they do have the same sequence going. So all we had to do was unlearn our old boarding sequence and go into a different boarding sequence. So they, they made a change, but didn't really matter in the end, really. All right, let's see what we've got. Ram. Quite a nice loaded room. Good blooms. Put over a bit crew. Let's see what she's made of. Ugh. Standard one upgrade slot. Crew two, sailing one, and she's old Bermuda Cedar. Yuck. Though so she's going to be worse when it comes to at least to the thickness uh, than our current constitution. Uh, but it is a significant crew and gun increase. So it is what it is. Take her in. Leave the battle. And an 800 XP. All right. Um, pretty straightforward fight. I almost messed it up again. Um, or it almost went bad. Um, we were taking a heap of damage on that pushing him around we could have fallen off earlier um just to make sure we got out of it repair back up come back in um sometimes it just goes a certain way and you kind of have to play it as it lies um bit of a bit of a golf analogy there but we managed in the end he um he kept turning into us to get shot in and luckily we managed to get him up into our front instead and he came up on our stronger side and we can board from that one pretty lucky if we'd gotten in and if he hit us was like one or two full broadsides more we would have been done for so we would have either fallen off or simply just let him pass so that was another episode of through the ranks uh so next time it'll be i don't know if we remember let me just look it up quickly uh, I do forget which ship it is that is directly after the uh, after the uh, third raid. It's the Vasa. So next up is the Vasa fight. Vasa is a pretty good ship with a very decent loadout. So um, we'll see how that one goes. But until next time, don't forget lair, uh, lair? no share, like and subscribe, and uh, stay safe. <laughs>